a low swear back and this time we have a proper nice laptop I mean this laptop probably was mad expensive at the time Nvidia i7 Blu-ray a proper nice gaming machine pressing the power button nothing happened let's find out what's wrong with this so the job is coming from a computer business they try to fix it after replacing the DC socket there is no power to laptop so basically they replace the charging port and it's not working not sure if it was working before or not but let's see let's see let's see what uh, what could go wrong maybe we can help I mean, these things happen, you know, doesn't matter how good you are. Sometimes the things go uh, sideways. Let me open the laptop quickly. And the laptop, it's open. Yeah, that's a proper nice motherboard. Classic one. You have the video chip, you have the CPU on the socket. I can bet the CPU is the one with uh, a lot of cache. Six, six megabytes cache? I think you have the chipset here, VRAM, yeah, proper nice. Uh, the ground is not, doesn't have a screw here, but probably that's not the issue with the laptop. So uh, what we're checking first, first we're checking the main power rail to see if it's not shorted. Main power rail, well, MOSFET capacitor. And the main power rail is 28 ohms. Not really happy with 28 ohms on the main power rail. Let's check a different place. Check here, here like B caps. Main power rail 27 ohms. Hmm. Not good. Not good at all. Main power rail. Nah, probably this is not, it's not the main power rail, right? No. Nah. Here, main power rail, 28 ohms. So, uh, yeah, it's not good. Let me bring the thermal camera on the screen. I'm going to come with the power supply. I'm going to lower the voltage. Good. We have the thermal camera. Now, check here, yeah? And I will try to push some current into the motherboard. We are pushing 300 milliamps, so what is getting hot? With 300 milliamps, nothing is getting hot. Uh -huh. No, it's not that one. RAM memory? So it's taking 300, if I take out one RAM, ha, check there, now it's taking only 50 milliamps, which is still bad, but that means the RAM power supply is shorted, taking out this RAM is taking no current at all, huh? check there, so the RAM power supply is gone, let's see what happened. Ah, okay, yeah, the customer hasn't said anything about replacing MOSFETs, huh? I mean, clearly you can see this MOSFET has been replaced. Let's check the MOSFET. So what is the issue? Most likely, I'm not saying the RAM is dead, I'm saying the CPU is dead, because the memory controller is inside of the CPU, which here is not an issue, but I don't have this CPU. So the CPU, you can take it from the socket and replace it very easily. But yeah, I don't have another CPU. So the problem here is this MOSFET has 0 ohms. Wait. Yes, yeah, 0 ohms. And this one... This one is the one with low resistance, right? Uh -huh. And this is the coil. Okay, so plus is coming where? Yeah, plus is coming here. So the high side MOSFET is shorted. 
Um, the Lish way. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the RAM is dead. But the laptop should come on, that's the thing. Yeah, clearly someone over here. Yeah, you're right, I am pissed off when uh, the customer is saying something, but actually it's a different work inside of the laptop. No one said actually replace the RAM MOSFETs. They said they replaced the jack, right? You've seen the email. And the MOSFET is out and we made a mess. Wait, what is here? A freaking capacitor? Where is my capacitor? It is here. Yeah, people moaning about replacing the capacitor, and yeah, now is the moment. Let's assume I replace this capacitor. Good. Then we have one resistor and one more. Good, we fix it. We fix it. Ooh, okay. So the short atmosphere is this one. Um, what's wrong with the MOSFET? It's yeah, just zero ohms MOSFET. Checking for short on the MOSFET place is not short. The ground MOSFET, the ground, ground MOSFET is good. So let's replace that one. You know what? I'm not sure where, where I can find a MOSFET, a big one. Okay, we found a MOSFET. Check that. Hmm? There's something wrong with my microscope light. It's not a dual MOSFET, it's a normal MOSFET. And the MOSFET is out. Now replacing the MOSFET. And the MOSFET is solder. Great. So, what about now? Let's cool the motherboard. What is this? I never seen something like that. Those are MOSFETs? Yeah, probably, or they are MOS chips, yeah? Can be, because we have like three coils here. Yeah, cool. Okay, let's see. It is coming on. So, power supply. 19 volts, lot of amps, and plus here, and it's taking no power, which is good. 1.2 amps, and the fan is spinning. Check here. The, if the fan is spinning, let me put a RAM stick here. Actually, you know what? You know what? I believe I have the. I have the connector, Sony, Sony, yeah, that's the one, ha, so 19 volts on the charging port, and the laptop is coming on straight away, 
We have picture. That's crazy. I can't believe. Let's check the round voltage. So the round voltage is 1.5. Yeah, it is. Operating system not found. That's what he's saying. Wow, what a crazy job. You know what? I'm assuming that's what I believe. I believe that the RAM is shorted. But let's test it together. That's the reason why I plugged this, because I took out this, the second one. And the second one actually was taking less current compared with the first one. I don't know, I'm just assuming, but let's check to see if I'm right. So plug in the charger. Nice nah, working. <laughs> you have to understand this RAM took 19 volts because that MOSFET was shorted. And the RAM is still good. You can believe that. The CPU took 19 volts. And the CPU is still working because the memory controller is taking power from, from this coil. And the high side MOSFET was shorted. Yeah. I mean, it's it's incredible how solid are these laptops from these days, from those days. Yeah. Let me power off the laptop, holding the power button down. Yeah, and it's switching off. Let me see if it's charging. So plug in the battery. Plug in the battery and it's charging. Check that. That's the pre-charge current, probably 200 milliamps. Yeah, it's taking one amp. Crazy. Uh, one more time, just to understand. If I check now the where we check on the on the first place, the main power I will check and it was like 20 ohms and something. If I check now on the same spots, yeah. So here is infinite resistance. Here, it's infinite resistance, just to understand. And we check here, it's infinite resistance. Yeah, that's how it should, it's supposed to be. <clears throat> the high side MOSFET, it was shorted. That's why we had like 20, 20 and something ohms. So what happened? Anyone can tell me what happened? What happened with the age where actually you can have a CPU on a socket? Just think, yeah, how many gaming laptops we've seen with like a short atmosphere that CPU and the CPU is over on the board. Just think how many. Hmm. So this laptop with just like 15 years is still working fine. And we have the new laptops, they they can't even <laughs> go after the uh, over the, the the manufacturer warranty and i'm assuming this is the bios chip yeah that's the bios chip yeah no bs no uh, ec chip program with the program no actually the ec chip is blank and it's taking the bios from the ec chip bios yeah then you have the chipset with his own bios here yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's an Intel chip, so. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it is what it is. What can I say? Yeah, proper nice laptop, proper nice. Well, we fixed it. We helped the customer. Um, I'm going to stop now. I will say thank you for watching. You don't like, subscribe if you like the video. And see you on the next one. Bye. Hey. If you find my content being helpful, don't forget you can support this channel by pressing the join button and you can get instantly access to our members only cool collection and uh, Discord private channels for support with your repairs. Also, you can have a look on our uh, United Kingdom uh, eBay where you can find some cool and unique products. United States eBay store or our Patreon page. Thank you.